This is the trumpet of Tutankhamun. Did you know that this is the only ancient instrument in which the exact sound, as heard by the ancients, can be reproduced today? And now you're going to hear the sound being played. The trumpets of the pharaoh Tutankhamun, lord of the crown, king of the south and north, son of Re. What? Now that you've heard the sound, let me explain to you a little bit of what this is all about. This trumpet was found in a wooden box near the lion bed. There were three beds, but the lion one was found next to that. It is made of bronze or copper and is partly overlaid with gold. Now let me show you the details of the figures on the front. And now this is a close-up of the bell of the trumpet, and I'll explain to you the figures that we have here. There are four of them. One, you have Tutankhamun wearing the blue war crown. He has a symbol of life in one hand, and a club mace in order to club his enemies. And this harks back to the old kingdom or pre-dynastic. So it's connecting himself to the ancient kingdoms. Here you have the god of Thebes, Amun-Ra, and you see his name right over here. He is basically embracing the king and giving him a symbol of life. Over here you have the great god Re Horakti of Heliopolis, and he is basically holding a scepter of power. And then on the very right, you have the god of Memphis, Ptah, who is upon a symbol of truth, and he is enshrined in his temple wall here. So now I'm going to describe to you the hieroglyphs that are read over here. So on the very top here of Rehorakti, you have the name Rehorakti, the good god, who is the lord of gold. Over here you have Amun, who is Amun-Ra, who is the king of all the gods. And then here you have the title of Tutankhamun, which is the good god. And here is his throne name, which is Neb Keperu Re, inside the Shen ring or cartouche. And then here he is given life. And finally, you have Ptah, who is enshrined here upon a pedestal of truth. Here you have his title, which says the, Lord, or the great one, Ptah. It's hard to see, but it says here who is south of his wall the Lord of Truth, which is a very popular and important title, and it says the Creator who receives all. And that is the translation here. Now back to the trumpet and a little bit more explanation is what's going on over here. Now right here you see a bell made of basically lotus, uh, a lotus plant. You can see it's a blooming plant right over here. It was used either with a cloth to clean the instrument or bear to preserve the shape. So it could either, a cloth would be wrapped around, you could see there's some uh, wear and tear around here, and then you would position it here and kind of just spin it around and clean it, or pass it through to clean it, or it would preserve the shape to make sure that the bell doesn't warp. Now the Egyptian trumpet had no valve, absolutely no valve. And the mouthpieces were not cup-shaped, and they were employed chiefly on military occasions. So, as described before, this is the only ancient instrument we have in which we can actually make the sound of how the ancients heard the instrument. So, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of this explanation of Tutankhamun's trumpet.